This is Eric with Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to map our QNexus to Apple Logic using MPE and to control a soft synth called Alchemy. So the first thing you want to do is to visit our website keithmcmillan.com slash downloads and you're going to want to scroll down and click on QNexus. That'll bring you to the download link for the QNexus editor for Mac OS. You're going to want to make sure that you've downloaded the latest version, which is 1.1.1, and that was uploaded on March of 2021. And that will contain the MPE presets that I'm about to show you. So once you've installed and downloaded the editor, you can open it, and on the right-hand side under Library, you'll see that we have two presets. One is MPE1 Mod Pressure, and that controls modulation with slide or rock, or tilt, whatever you want to call it on the keys. And then MPE2 pitch pressure, um, which does the same thing, but instead of modulation, it'll control pitch bend with that rocking motion. Uh, pitch bend can be hard to control sometimes, so I'm going to stick with mod pressure, and I'm going to send that. If you look at the QNexus, when I click this, it blinks, letting you know it uh, was transmitted. And you can click on the preset button and make sure that you've got preset A selected, which is what I sent there. Once that's done, you can open Logic. You'll see I've got two tracks here, one for the mic that you're hearing me on now, and the other for our soft synth. And over here it's Alchemy, so you can click on Settings. And what you'll see down here, and it might be hidden, there's a little triangle here. Um, MIDI Mono Mode is Apple's way of referring to MPE. So you're, you're going to want to make sure that that is set to On with Common Bass Channel 1. That's what our preset is set for. And you'll notice that control A, B, C, and D uh, are here, and, and under C we've got 74 bright listed, and that is the default motion for this rocking motion, uh, which we're used to uh, in, in the QNexus. So now you can choose a patch, and I've got warm synth pad selected here, and that's a nice little pad that we've got. Um, under the advanced tab now we can map these MPE controls. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn velocity off. That'll make my notes a little more consistent. And I'm going to click on the cutoff knob. And what you'll see here is under modulation, we've got a couple things modulating cutoff, one of which is control two. Instead of doing that here with a mouse, I want to do that with, uh, with the rocking motion, the slide tilt motion. So I'm going to, under MIDI, choose control C 74. And now, uh, when I rock this, and it does it poly polyphonically, so you can... That's great, but maybe one a little more dynamic. So instead of velocity, I'm going to use that continuous pressure motion that um, you aren't hearing but you're seeing yet. So if you right click the master volume and go to add modulation and under note property, we're going to select aftertouch. That's another way of referring to pressure. And so I'm going to select that. You'll see a new mod line down here for aftertouch. And I'm going to set the depth all the way on. And now, the pressure, how hard I'm holding the key, controls the master volume. And you can combine that with the slide motion to get some cool expressive motions. And there you have it. Check out our other videos and we'll show you other ways to set up MPE, different DAWs, and our controllers. 